I hope I can glue me in here. And um, yeah, today I wanted to address something, but first and foremost, I gotta let you guys know, 17 weeks out, uh, cutting portion of the purple will be starting in a few days. So we're gonna go get sh uh, shopping, do some stuff for that. Where I live was sold. So Spectre came through and all that stuff. And um, was looking at it, building, building, because I live in a, um, in a two unit. And I actually know the other people that bought it, so hopefully that's cool. There's other things going on, but I'm not gonna announce it just yet. Now, what I wanna talk about was this whole thing going on. Really not the biggest loser, but kind of stems from that because I seen something when I was actually working. I wasn't training, I was working. Uh, I work at, well, so the gym. So, first and foremost, people are saying are not really understanding. A lot of people are on board. Some people aren't really understanding why the uh, the box jumps in particular for the biggest loser or the focal point of a lot of people, such as Alan Roberts. I know um, the man Papa Solio was talking about it, and it's really because let's face facts: it's not something an obese person should be doing. It's really not even so. It's considered an advanced movement by many training certifications, uh, programs, uh, NASA. Somebody told me ISSA, which you guys know is uh, who I'm going through. But not even that. For people who are heavy in weight or obese, it's definitely a problem. Like me, I'm not, and when I say obese, I'm not just talking about obese, but even overly obese morbidly obese people for sure should not be doing box jumps um typically um uh, between you guys notice 240 to 250 pounds i don't even run at this weight it's too much right so box jumps are definitely out of the question for me and i'm not a morbidly obese person i'm not even a, an obese person i'm not gonna lie sometimes in the off season you might tilt towards obese like me might get to 265 i know but um, it's serious. And the reason why is because a lot of people watch these shows and they don't really know what they're doing, but they see these shows, they're trusting that there's a TV show and they have trainers and they have people who are, they have liability, they have risk. Even though it's Planet Fitness that's not sponsoring them, they have somewhere like that that's uh, sponsoring them. Oh, where is mine? Okay. They trust that they know what they're doing to a degree, even though they really do not. And I was in the gym. And, uh, hey, how's it going? And I seen these two. Look, I ain't gonna lie, they was fat, bro. But they was doing box jumps. They were doing box jumps. And they were people who definitely should not be doing box jumps. And they were doing them. They, they didn't jump down. They stepped up, but it, they were like throwing medicine balls, jumping up, and stuff like that. They weren't with a trainer. This is like the only thing I seen them do. It's just them. Excuse me, sorry. That's what they were doing. Box jumps. Right? <laughs> okay. So, again, yeah, they shouldn't be doing, definitely not them. And the reason why is, I mean, come on. It's a good way to injure yourself, damage a knee and ankle. If, if you fall, if you land the wrong way, it's, it's not something that obese people should be doing definitely morbidly obese people and that's the one thing that's consistent every episode of the biggest loser now i watch the biggest loser man i watch it but I, i'm aware that what they're doing is not ideal and i'm not going to blame it i don't know the discussions that took place before the people like steve cook and erica lugo uh, ended up on. I'm not saying Erica Lugo like I know. Her. I, didn't, I wouldn't know who she was. The show never came out to be honest. But I'm not going to. I don't know the conversations they had. If they were even like how much control or say they have over the train that they do. But I, or I don't know if it's something the show mandates. But like every episode they're doing box jumps, and it's funny because when you listen to them speak, at least when you listen to to uh, Erica Lugo speak. She definitely sounds like, like she sound, seems like if she was not on the show, people would not be doing box jumps. If she wouldn't prescribe box jumps. And I'm not dissing the show. This isn't an Alan Roberts video. We pretty much know, if you know 
what's going on, you know that the show is not, I mean, these people are training for like several hours a day for one. Definitely not sustainable. But if you don't know, then you're going to see a bunch of oh, morbidly obese people doing box jumps or somebody's middle-aged mother. They're going to go in the jump thinking, oh, this is part of the key to success and get hurt. And I've seen these guys, I'm like, dude, these guys, I wonder who told them at their body weight, at their size to do box jumps. Especially the what they were doing, it was not functional at all. You wouldn't think to do that. The thought of me doing it, even it's just like, dude, like, come on, it's going hard. Like I can hurt my knees. The shock itself. So, all, this sounds like a rant. It kind of is a rant, but I'm just saying that it is important. These images that go out and that somebody says to the main population that might not know, like, hey. I know you're seeing this on this popular show, but this is not the way to train. This is not the way to do it. Even expressing expressing disappointment, saying, you know what, Chris? I mean, not Chris. <laughs> That's a, I got not Chris. Hey, if, if Chris Cook sees this, don't get mad, bro. Um, not, not talking about you. Um, I'm at, at Steve Cook saying, hey, look, dude. I understand you might be on the show. I understand that you might have to do this for the show, but definitely don't defend it. I think that's good. I mean, he's upset about it. Obviously, he's getting caught out, but it's good to put just to have that out there so people know this is not the way to do it. And maybe he'll acknowledge it whenever he's able to and say, look, we did this on the show, but this is not what I would advise. It's just something we had to do for the show. That way people know, all right, okay, there's a difference between fitness entertainment which a lot of YouTube is anyways, and actual fitness, actual training. Now, Steve's probably in a predicament because his name's attached and his image, and he's being pretty much insulted, being told, you suck. Because it's like, yo, you, you suck as a trainer if you're really having people do this. And he, he does suck as a trainer if he doesn't, at least if he doesn't know. But... Again, the biggest disappointment is would be Eric Kaluga if she's if she has no reservations. I say if they have no reservations because I don't know what the show is making them do. But it does send that message out there to people who don't know better to do box jumps, start running miles a day, do tiny flips. And when you get hurt, you're going to be hurt. And these people are obese. Being active, being in shape, when you get injured... It's proven time and time again that you're going to be able to recover faster. If you're a fat, out of shape, piece of crap, you know who you are. Don't get offended. This, this ain't the body positive movement. I mean, you be body positive, but this is not fat positive. I'm letting you know. You could be positive about yourself and how you feel, but realize that you're not in an optimal state. You feed the top of the crap and you get hurt. Look, you're not at that level. You can't go from doing nothing to jumping on boxes, running around every day. Like, you got, there's levels to it. That's it. This video is getting too long. Uh, thanks for listening. All right. I'll see you guys later. Until then. <laughs> How you want to act? <laughs>